Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Bright Connections. I'm your host, BK. Here we are with another episode. Got a little time here. Uh, I'm going to try to get a quick episode out. Uh, I know it's been a couple weeks, well, two weeks, but um, like I said, lacrosse is in full season, and uh, boy, is it ever. So, um, me a little recap here, a little recap of the beginning of the season of lacrosse here, huh? So, um, my team, great kids. Great kids. Um, starting out the season, definitely didn't have the most lacrosse IQ, you could say. Um, look a little lost out there. But I'll tell you what, they have come a long way from the beginning of the season. They have come a long way. They finally starting to look like a team. Uh, things are starting to come together. Um, they were starting – each game is getting closer and closer. We won our first game on Saturday. Woo! Um, so it's it's coming along. It's going it's going a lot better. Um, really proud of how, how far they've come so far, for sure. Um, and that just – that speaks volumes to um, how much kids can inspire you as a person. And to see the amount of hard work that they're putting in, the amount of respect and, and how much they're listening to me and my assistant and everything. Um, and just taking it all in instead of just being selfish and, and saying, I want to do it my way or this or that. They're buying into the whole team concept. They're buying into having respect for each other, respect for the team. And, and um, I'm really, I'm really proud of them. I'm really proud of them. And I think we can all take that same kind of aspect into our lives. The word respect just, I mean, you could, you could apply it to everything, anything and everything. And I mean, you could, I, I teach my kids, I teach respect for the game, respect for your teammates, respect for the opponent, respect for refs, respect for coach, respect for yourself. And it just, in real life too, you could do the same thing. You could apply respect to, to anything, respect for yourself, you know, waking up and, and getting a good breakfast and, and waking up with a smile on your face and saying, it's going to be a good day. Um, I'm going to be the best person that I can be respect for your coworkers, respect for your family, you know, treat, treat everyone with respect, um, go about your day in a positive way. And you can apply it to anything you really can. And if we start acting with respect and, and valuing respect in our lives, um, you know, we're, we're just going to improve. Where our, our, our outlook on life is going to grab, you know, just skyrocket. If you have respect for things and if we have respect for each other, man, whew, boy, boy, oh boy. Whew. Just have, just have respect for, for other people's beliefs and their values and the way they want to live. And, you know, it's okay to be different. It's okay to think one way or the other. You don't have to argue with everybody that doesn't believe the same way that you do. Some, you know, don't have to argue with with the way that they go about their day. You know, um, everybody's different, and everybody has different opinions, different thoughts, different beliefs. And if we can just start to respect each other and respect those those things, you know. We're going to get back to being a civilization and a, and a mankind, you know, a human race that that can coexist and, and love each other. And just it's a big dream. It's a big dream. I know there's there's evil out there. There's evil inclinations and evil thoughts and, and things. But the more we spread kindness and positivity and being there for one another, just support and just respect. The more we can exemplify it ourselves, the better off that we will be and the more we will influence and just impact each other. I'm telling you, the more we, we show good deeds and show kindness and positivity, it's, it's contagious. You know, it's contagious. When people see somebody else doing something nice, it may, at least for me, I don't know, and a lot of other people I talk to, it makes you want to do well do nice you know yourself so if we can if we can start throwing respect into our into our daily lives man whew. big steps big steps big steps we can do it 
we can do it. I believe it. If my if my eleven year old lacrosse kids can do it, you as an adult or you as a you know a kid yourself, you can do it too. All right, that's my challenge to you. That's my challenge. Do it. Be respectful. Be respectful. All right. Instead of instead of going on social media and and arguing with people that have a different opinion or that do this or do that, or, you know, trying to do this, trying to do that, just try to see it from their vantage point, you know, try to see what they're going through and what they're dealing with in their minds. And you just never know. Uh, if you don't believe the same thing that they do, that's fine, but you don't have to put them down. You don't have to make them see it your way. You can, you can discuss with each other and say, well, why do you believe this way? And I believe this way. Why don't you consider my way? Consider not, not force it down their throat and say, you have to believe my way, you know, just converse, you know, just, understand be understanding with each other just be understanding with each other but anyway i hope everyone's doing well hope everyone's doing great you know starting to have some nicer you know nicer weather starting to get warm out then again we also had a snow day last last week and 30 degrees couple days winter's back winter's back coming back with a vengeance Crazy, crazy weather, but um, for the most part, it's nice, it's warm, sun's out, we're, we're progressing with, with vaccines, we're able to start going out more and, and living our lives, and I hope everyone is feeling the effects of that and starting to get back to more of their normal life and, and enjoying the outdoors and enjoying being around each other more, so hope you're doing great, I really, truly do, um, hopefully it'll start bringing some brightness and some positivity to you in your life, and I hope we can continue to spread it to each other so all right i for some silly crazy reason i decided to do a quiz for myself to see how dateable i am so i just i just turned 30 um you know a couple weeks ago and i am still single um and i just wanted to see is it me maybe no it can't be me right it can't be but I wanted to see what this quiz said, how, how dateable I am. Just wanted to, I want to know. I'm intrigued. I'm kind of dreading it. But I want to know. I want to know. So it should be fun. So we're going to go through this little quiz here. We're going to see what this thing says and see how dateable BK is. See how dateable BK is. All right. So first question. First question. Who should pay at the end of the date? I always do. I expect my date to. I expect my date to at least the first few times. It should always be 50-50. Each person should pay for what they got. It should be reflective of individuals' incomes. I always offer to pay whichever way they like, but I'd hope that my date would pay. The person that did the asking out should pay. So that's, that's tough already off the bat because none of them really match exactly what my answer would be. My answer would be is I always assume that I'll pay unless uh, unless the girl, you know, the woman asks to pay, you know, or split or whatever she wants to do. If she wants to do something, um, I will accept it. You know, I, if she wants to pay, I don't want her to pay. Like if we're going on multiple dates, I don't want her to pay every time. I will kind of argue that. But if she wants to pay, if she wants to split, if she wants to do whatever, I'll, I'll do it. You know, I'm not going to argue with it. Um, but I usually, I expect to pay for both. I am more, you know, or old fashioned, um, the guy should kind of take the, the lead and, and pay for it. Um, so I guess you could say, well, I kind of say the person that did the asking out should pay though. Nowadays it's kind of mutual asking out too. It's not always just the guy. So I guess that doesn't really work either. I guess I'll say, I always do. And then like I said, with the, with the thought in mind that if she offers or, or wants to or split or whatever she wants to do, you know, that's the option. That's the option. How would you feel dating someone far more successful than you? I don't know what they, they like italicize there. How would you feel dating someone far more successful than you? Incredibly proud. Would feel proud, but secretly just a tiny bit insecure though I would never tell them or make, the feel make them feel bad about it. I would hate it, want to feel on par with my partner. I would hate that, want to feel like the main provider. I wouldn't care. I'm going to go with the second one. I would feel proud, 
but secretly just a tiny bit insecure, though I'd never tell them or make them feel bad about it. I, I would, I would, I'd be, I would be like, oh, you're awesome. You're kicking butt. You're doing great for yourself. Um, you know, and but not like in the back of my mind, be like, maybe I need to kind of pick it up what I'm doing a little bit and do a little better myself. But at the same time, like I scored a good one here, you know? So I'm going to go with that one. I'm going to go with that one. All right. So next one, your partner wants to go, wants you to go with them to an event you really, really don't want to go to. What do you do? I say that I don't want to go and I don't, I say, I don't want to go, but I do anyway, because it's important to them. I, vo I voice my opinion and do go, but I expect something in return. I go and do my best to enjoy myself. I doubt there would be something that I wouldn't want to go to. <laughs> uh, no, uh, I'm going to go and enjoy and do my best to enjoy myself. You know, I, it's important to them. It's important to me. Um, might not be something I would normally do, but you never know. You might enjoy it. You never know. Just go and, and do your best to enjoy it. Get out of your comfort zone a little bit. It's your partner's birthday in a week and you have no idea what to get them. What do you do? Uh, that would never happen. I'm fantastic at both gift giving and planning. I would ask a close friend or family member of theirs what's to give or what to give them. I would go to a store and ask the sales assistant what I should give them. Uh, just buy them the most expensive thing I can. Take them out somewhere or plan an event. I would get them a gift card. If I'm being really, truly honest about myself, I probably wouldn't remember until it's too late. Um, I feel like most of the time I'm really good at gift giving and planning. But being honest and trying to just say maybe I really don't know what to get this person, I'll go with the second one and I would ask a close friend or family member of theirs what to get them. You know, seek advice. Seek advice on that. If you don't, if you absolutely have no idea what to get them. Your partner has cooked you dinner. What do you do? Eat it, obviously. Eat it and make an effort to genuinely thank them. Eat it, thank them, and do the dishes. I probably wouldn't eat it because they're an awful cook. Wow. Okay, not that one, and not do the dishes one because I honestly, uh, I hate dishes. Um, then again, I, if it was a, one of the first dates and she had me over and cooked dinner and everything, I would at least like help with dishes. I don't want to necessarily do it myself. Oh, I feel bad now. I feel like it should be the right answer, but I'm being honest. I truly hate doing dishes. Um, but I don't think I can really answer that way because of that. Cause I wouldn't straight up want to do the dishes right after. I'd say eat it and make an effort to genuinely thank them. I mean, there's no reason why I wouldn't eat it and I wouldn't not thank them. You know, that's awesome. You cook, cook a homemade meal. Let's go. Let's go. How often do you compliment your partner? I make a conscious effort to do so every day. I do so whenever I feel compelled to, which is often. I do so whenever I feel compelled to and when I think they need to hear it. I probably don't do it enough. I don't want to say the everyday one because I feel like if you do it too much, it kind of loses its its value. I'd say the second one, do so whenever I feel compelled to, which is still often. You know, you're gonna to want to compliment them because they're awesome, which is why you're with them. You don't want to do it too too much. It'll be often. It'll be all, maybe almost every day. Or maybe every day still. Maybe it is still every day. I'm going to still go with that second one, though. Feel com when I feel compelled to, which is often. I'm not saying, like, wake up, well, you look, well, I guess we're saying waking up, waking up and saying you look beautiful or have a great day or whatever. Uh, that's wishing, though, not, not complimenting. I'm going with that one. I do so whenever I feel compelled to, which is often. Yeah. If you had to choose one thing, what's the most important quality in a partner? Partner. Emotional support, good prospects, interesting conversation, good looks, a devotion to me. Boy. 
Um, probably emotional support. Though I don't need it. Because obviously I'm doing fine on my own, but it may be an interesting conversation. At least that's the starting out. Like when you're meeting somebody, if they can't hold a good conversation, it's tough. It kind of makes you lose interest. But they're saying, you know, what's the most important quality in a partner? So you're already like dating. I think I'm still going to go. I'm actually, I think I'm going to go interesting conversation. Got to be able to entertain each other, you know, be funny with each other, be yourselves, um, converse back and forth, just communicate with each other. I think that's a little, yeah, I think I'm going to go with that one. Yep, 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 yep. How do you choose what movie to watch or music to listen to? I choose it. I generally choose it. They generally choose it. We have a system where each person gets to make the decision an equal amount of time. We always find a compromise. I don't really care. I don't really care. I always listen to another person's music unless it's, I guess that's if it's, unless what if it's like really bad and I really don't like it. It'd be hard though, because I like a lot of music. I really like a lot of music and it'd be tough to find something I don't like or would be willing to listen to. So I guess I'll go with, we always find a compromise then. If it's something really bad, I might bring it up and say, can we not listen to this? And try something a little different. Um, I don't know, that's never been, a, that's never been an issue. Or I guess with movie too, I was always, I have somebody, if she wants to watch a chick flick, go for it, I'll watch it, I don't care. I can get into it. I can get into it. I'll be down. <clears throat> Would you ever snoop through your partner's phone? Yes, if I got the chance. Yes, but only if I thought they were cheating. Maybe if I had my suspicions, but I would never specifically seek the opportunity to do so. No, even if I thought they may be unfaithful. I honestly don't think I would. I honestly don't think I would. I've never had to, um, never, never wanted to. Um, if anything, I'd, I'd bring it up to them if I thought they were unfaithful, but I don't think I'd go through their phone. I really don't. I really don't think I would really, really, truly don't. I'm going to hard no on that one. Okay. Next. When should you tell someone that you love them? As soon as you feel it after a certain period of time. So as to not freak them out or rush into anything only after they say it. And if you feel it too, after they say it. I'm a very hard on my sleeve kind of guy. And I usually do fall fairly quick. But I still, I still holding off saying something like that. Um, even when I start to feel it, I usually wait a certain period of time not to freak them out or rush into anything. Yeah. Uh, what's the best way to deal with an argument? Fight it out fairly until you come to a solution, even if it isn't the solution you want. Avoid each other. Um, have some fun time. Um. That's tough because, well, it's definitely not the last one. It's first or second because either argue it out, figure it out, and just deal with it as, as grown people, but also not necessarily avoid, but I would think more just, just calm down, cool down, avoid each other, get some space for a while, then come back and talk about it. But I think they're saying avoid each other as far as like don't even talk about it again. So I'll go with the first one. Fight it out fairly until you come to a solution, even if it isn't the one you want. You know, just, just discuss it, you know, deal with it, deal with it as the time comes. Well, that's it. Okay. Uh, you got your 86% dateable. You're a bloody catch. You're considerate and kind, making you a wonderful person to date. Your partner is lucky to have you. And if you're not with anyone, don't worry. It's just a matter of time. Heard that about a thousand times plus one. Just make sure to date someone that gives you as much respect and considera consideration as you give them. Agreed, quiz. Agreed. Agreed. Thanks. I feel much better about myself now. That was interesting. Interesting. I don't know. I, uh, 
I feel like I'm a fairly dateable person, but it always seems to always seems to be times where it's just something something little is not right, whether it be timing for them or timing for me or something just doesn't click or and again, I don't really meet too many people either. I don't know. I don't know. How dateable is BK? The world may never know. The world may never know. This is a bright shirt today, by the way. Holy crap. But anyway, um, 86% dateable. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I was a little, a little nervous doing that, not going to lie. A little odd. A little odd to share, but why not? Have a little fun with it. Have a little fun with it. Um, you know, I've always been, I've always been a, a family person, and I've always, I've always known that I want a family. You know, I want a, I want a wife, and I want kids. And you know, it's always been, honestly, it's been like my main goal of life, um, just finding that right girl, starting a family, having kids, raising kids. Um, I mean, there's not much more that I want in my life than, than a family. And obviously you need to make sure it's the right person, um, right time for them, for me, whatever the case may be. And, you know, it's difficult at times, difficult at times. If you're out there and you're single, I know you've heard it too, as I've heard it, patience, 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 you know, just, just be patient. They'll come around when you least expect it. I've heard that before and everything. And it's probably true. It's probably true. You just never know when you're going to meet that that person. Um, but don't give up. Don't give up. Stick with it. Keep you know. Keep your keep your eyes open. Your ears open. Your heart open. Um, that's definitely me. I've always never had a problem with that. Never never had a problem with leaving my heart open. That's for sure. Um, but it is what it is. It's the way life is. It's something to look forward to. You know, even if you're you're single at a later age, just Keep looking forward to to meeting a special person in your life, you know, whether or not it's later or earlier. Love's love's amazing, man. I I'm a lover through and through. I love people. Um, I love seeing people in love. Uh, I love I love a good love story. I'm a big old sap. I'm a big old sap for a good love story. Mm-hmm. 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 I am. I am. So, which next brings us to our bright connections. Our bright connections. So, bring this up real quick. I have a story. Actually, let's do mine first. Let's do mine first. Um, so, I was at, um, I was at the car wash, combination, um, you know, gas station car wash the other day. And I pre-purchased a uh, car wash a while ago. And so you, you have your code on your receipt and everything. And I finally was like, all right, let's, let's clean this, clean this baby up, clean the car up and get a car wash. And so I drove through and was at the machine and putting the code in the code didn't work. I was like, Oh, come on. Cause the codes aren't supposed to expire. And so I was like, what's going on? Why isn't this code working? You know, what's going on? So the, the attendant came over and older gentleman, real you know super slow walking kind of just took like eight i think years to get over to me now but um older gentleman took a while and once he got over to me you know i said um you know the code's not working he thought i said something else first which was funny he's like are you under are you underneath the thing i was like what no the code the code's not working he's like oh the code okay and he goes um just go on through i'll let you through don't worry about it and you know i thought about it i was like you know that was really nice you know, just believe in me to say that I had a, you know, had a code, I, you know, pre-purchased the car wash. Um, and he just, you know, didn't think twice about it. Just like, go on through. I got you. Don't worry about it. And um, I thought I, it, it hit me, you know, I thought it was really nice, a simple thing. Um, just, just let somebody go through, get their car wash, even though they were having trouble with the, with the code or whatever, having, having issues. And and I thought it was, I thought it was really nice. I thought just a simple act, uh, brightened up my day a little bit, uh, older gentleman, just doing his, doing his thing, doing his thing to brighten up the, brighten up the world a little bit. And I appreciated it. I really did. I appreciated it. 
So um, good job to you, sir. Appreciate you. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep brightening people's days. Uh, second one, second one was from uh, one of my one of my friends. Uh, I posted this on Facebook, and so the story was he has this mask, I guess that is special to him in a way. Uh, he said a few weeks ago his mask uh, broke outside of a restaurant, and a lady that he didn't know asked what the the number forty one. He has a number forty one on his mask. He asked what the she asked what the forty one stands for, and he explained it saying it's one of his favorite bands, Dave Matthews Band. And, and, and then just, you know, time passed a week later, she came back to him. I guess he, he, you know, he works at the restaurant and she came back to him and she gave him a new mask with 41 on it. Complete stranger, complete stranger. Uh, didn't know, don't, didn't know from anyone else. Uh, and, and just to, to take it into consideration that that mask meant something to him and to, to make or buy or whatever, get him a new mask. Um, it's complete stranger, complete and utter stranger and uh, uh, amazing story. I mean, just, just doing something nice for him. And he said, I mean, that was amazing. It, it, it completely made his day, his week. Um, you know, it's just, the point is, it just takes nothing. It takes absolutely nothing to treat people good, whether it be someone you're close to or someone you've never met before, complete stranger. Um, you can do a huge amount of, of uh, make a huge impact on somebody with the simplest thing, just like this simple story. And we've been, we've been saying it from the start, right? Connections. We've been saying it from the start that simplest things go a long way and it couldn't be more true. It couldn't be more true. A complete stranger helping one of my friends out, you know, seeing that set that this item meant something to him and, and getting him a new one. So awesome story, Chris, thank you for sharing. Um, I, you know, I appreciate this I, when I, as soon as I saw it, I was like, this is amazing. You know, I gotta, I gotta share this. And this is, this is what I want. This is what we need to continue to urge people to, to share and to express these kind of things that, that people are doing this, people are doing this stuff out there. You know, there are so many people doing kind gestures for each other that we don't hear enough about. And we don't hear enough about, um, all we hear is negative, 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 and, it's not true. You know, the world is still a good place. There are tons of people that are kind, caring people, and it doesn't take much for you to be one of those people. It doesn't take much. It doesn't take much. So, all right, guys, that's about it for today. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, thank you so much, as always, for joining me. Appreciate it. Um, be sure to continue to go out, do nice things for people. You know, live each day with a smile on your face. Continue to be positive and bright. You're going to make the world a better place when you do. I know some days it's tough. I know someday everybody has their down days. But as soon as you do, start thinking about Start reverting back. Start thinking about maybe it's not so bad. You know, I do have this. I do have that. Um, you know, I, I can do this to make my day better. Just live each day to your best. Be the best you can. And we're going to make the world a better place. I believe it. I truly do. As always, guys, thanks again for joining. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, you know, checking out social media, giving it a like, follow um, on YouTube, you know, obviously the YouTube video. Uh, if you can subscribe, subscribe to the channel, that would help out in a, in a large, you know, huge way, large way. Um, like the video, comment your thoughts on, on how dateable I am. Goodness gracious. Um, you know, and, and, and just, Live by the, the mantra of, of respect. Just respect each other. Respect yourself. Um, be the best person you can be. Be the best person you can be. And as always, um, if you want to check me out on Twitch, I am a Twitch streamer as well. Um, Twitch.tv slash Admiral BK. Uh, have a lot of fun trying to make people laugh and, and smile on there as well. As always, just trying to just spread some brightness. You know, it's not only on here. It's, it's there. It's in my daily life. Um, trying to be the best that I can and, and help people to, to see it and join in as well, join in as well. So guys, thanks again for joining. Have a wonderful and bright week. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time. Take care.